Hey everyone, my name is Your Pair of Socks, and this is my Let's Play of Sonic Unleashed for the Nintendo Wii. In the last part, we finished the first nighttime stage, Chun and the Floating Shrine, and in this part, we head back to Rising Dragon Falls. Let's get started. In this stage, we'll find illustrations 27, 68, 78, and movie number 6. Starting off right here, we have some Dark Eye Force right there. Sneaky, sneaky Sega. Break these, and get some more Dark Eye Force. They just hide them, like, in plain sight, but you just don't see them because of the jars. And right here, we have some Dark Wizards. Well, actually, I think they're called Dark Masters. Yeah, that's right. I don't know why I called them Dark Wizards, but anyway, we also have some reskinned Nightmares, so let's take care of these guys. Your teleportation cannot teleport you fast enough away from me. Sonic the Werehog, haha. <laughs> and, there we go. Jump up here and- OH GET OWNED! No, I don't! You get owned! And nothing behind these boxes, seriously. You cannot own the Werehog. Gonna pick up these 20 ring rings. Yeah, that makes sense. Break these jars, get an item right there, and... WHAT ARE THESE?! Pendulums?! Like, seriously? Falling floor?! Ah, uh, you know, back in Spagonia, there were spikes, which were acceptable, and we also had buzz saws, but... Seriously, pendulums? There's another item right there, but seriously?! I don't get it, I, don't, I, I seriously don't. Anyway... Coming up to the most frustrating item to ever get in this game. Takes a little while for this Dark Bat to come over here, grab onto him. We're going to swing onto the other side of this river. Waiting, waiting, jump! Alright, now, heading up here, double jump, get a different camera angle, so be careful. Then we just have to pause right here, because up was down, now down was up. Now, this is really hard to do, because you gotta make sure that you were in the right place. Like, usually, I just, like, run off the side by accident. Just overall be careful, like, stand at the edge of that one uh, platform area, and I'm sure the camera will change before you actually fall off into your doom. Collect these rings, hit these jars. And let's grab onto these poles. Grab from one to the other. There we go. Some of these are moving, some of these aren't. Gotta be careful. Grab onto this dark bat. Haha, -ha, didn't even have to touch the ground. I am Thaza. Grab this pole. Go over to this pole, swing over to the ground. And this! Yeah. We gotta get to the top of that. Definitely my favorite part of the stage. They emphasize the fact that you have to go up this waterfall, obviously in the name, Rising Dragon Falls. I really like the stage because of this one part alone. I mean, like platforming. Not very easy to do, but the overall look, I like it. They did a really good job with this one stage. Here's our last item, I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. I think it is, I think it is, no. <laughs> okay, heading up here now. Gonna collect these rings, and... Double jump. Double jump, hit these jars. Get some unleash. No, that's not unleash, that's Dark Guy Force. And heading up here. Line this hole. I remember in my practice run, like, I made it, like, nearly all the way up, and I was being really impatient, so at the very end, I accidentally missed and almost killed myself at the very bottom. <laughs> it was hilarious. Oh, it wasn't hilarious for me, but I was definitely screaming. I was like, "No!" And I caught myself, and then I accidentally let go, and then I kept falling. I was like, "No!" Ah, fun times. Jump, 
Swing across to the other side. There we go. Gotta make it. There we go. Even though the Wii has graphical limitations, some parts of this game are pretty good looking. Jump. And run. Yeah, we don't need to like slowly like crawl our way over to the other side, we just run. And here is the most double-edged sword moment ever. You feel as though you have so little room for error, and yet, ah, uh, it's just really- Oh god! Yeah, this part too. If it wasn't for the fact that Sonic had double jump, I probably would have died right there. That way's blocked by the fire, Sonic. It's too hot to pass through. Um, what about that barrel? Maybe they've got tuna inside. <laughs> Sorry. S seriously, donut. No. Just no. Seriously, my puns aren't that bad. I mean, just ah, uh, ah. Uh, forget about it. Like I said in the last part, donut, you have your moments, and sometimes you don't. And now it's time for the final battle. Let's do this. We got some little Rexes and we got some reskinned nightmares. Let's do this. These guys aren't so terrible as long as we got some unleashed force. Come on. I'll take you all out. You know what? I won't even take you all out. I'll take you all out to dinner and dessert. Haha, <laughs> And they're already done, so. That's things. Kinda wanted to keep on going. Oh well. And to our left is the goal ring. And there we go. The stage has been cleared. Let's see if we got our S rank or not. Wait, why do we even have to ask? Of course we got our S rank. Do I ever disappoint you, audience? Of course I don't. We got three sun medals, which means the stage is complete. Uh, let's see what we got. Attack level up. Nice. Gonna be able to do some more damage to those nightmare-fueled enemies. Now let's see what we got. We got Illustration 68, Illustration 78, Secret Movie 6, and Illustration 27. Alright. Alright, I know this was pretty short, but I'll make it up to you in the next part when we do Act 3 and the boss of Chen Nan. Until then, take care, and I'll see you guys next time.